Hi everybody and welcome to the art table and today I'm going to show you how I resin some pieces. So what I use when I resin my pieces is this. It's a glaze coat that's for countertops. There is a resin art out there that you can use. It comes in gallon jugs but it's very expensive and uh, I find that the results from this glaze coat stuff is perfect. I love it. It's got the same results. It's less expensive, but the main reason I use this is because it's more accessible to me. So, what I want to do is show you how I mix that. It comes in two parts. You have your glaze coat, and um, then you have like a hardener, like your high gloss finish hardener. And you have, this is a resin, and then this is the hardener. So you want to mix it in equal parts. And it takes six minutes each to stir in each cup. And then you mix it all together in one cup. I'm not going to videotape all that because it's really time consuming and I don't want to bore you guys. So what I'm going to do is fill the resin up to this here line. And then I'll put the hardener in this cup up to this line. And you mix each one separately for six minutes. And then you mix it in this cup. Put it all in there and you mix it up for another six minutes. And then it starts to get warm. When you can feel it getting warm through your fingertips, you know that it's ready. And then you have a nice time, about 15 minutes or 20 minutes, to work with your painting. Now I'm running short on this, so uh, I've used a lot already. So what I'm going to do today is to show you how I do one piece instead of boring you and making you watch me resin all my pieces. So we'll just do the one piece and it'll turn out great. I'll show you how that's done. So I got about three minutes left here of this stirring. I was able to make two batches. Um, but I do want to tell you guys that uh, you really do have to follow the instructions on your resin art or your glaze coat that I'm using really careful because you can get lumps and bumps and stuff in there and you want to make sure that you get that out of there right. You know, if you're following the instructions, you won't have any problems whatsoever. It's really not that difficult and it's a lot of fun. But the mixing part is just really important that you do that right. And uh, you do get some of the, with the proper mixing, you get some of the air bubbles that will occur naturally. And they can re be removed after you pour it on too. But it is self-leveling. But it's just important that when you mix, you scrape all the sides and the bottom of the container with your stir sticks as you're mixing. Okay, we're about ready to get started. Alright, so really quick before I get started on this project, I wanted to tell you guys that um, I'm not real tech savvy, so I'm having a hard time working with some of these um, programs for editing and stuff like that. So hope you guys bear with me and not worry about all that and focus on that so much and try to just enjoy some of the painting that I'm doing because I'm editing is just not my forte and it's really difficult for me so I just want to paint and try to get some information out to you guys and hopefully in time my editing skills will improve so thank you for watching and I wanted you to know that all right now we're gonna get started on the resin okay resin art is so fun you guys it's so fun to do and the finished product is always so nice okay so you start by pouring your resin in the middle and you work it around the painting. And you can use a spatula or any kind of item around your house, from the kitchen, the garage or whatever, to spread it around. But I actually like to use my fingers and with the glove, of course, but because it, it's so self-leveling anyway, I like to kind of pour it on and then get it equally in there. But I also like to go ahead and put the blowtorch on it to pop the bubbles. But you got to do it quick and just kind of pop it on like that. That's all you need to do. You don't need to play around with it much. We're not working on making cells and stuff. So I'm going to put a little more of that on there. And I'm going to go have fun with this. And I'm getting the corners and the edges. I actually feel like I might have put too much on. But you never have too much. It is self-leveling. I want to try to get it all on the edges. I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like dry. It's so nice. I'm trying to get all these edges here. It's 
so fun to do. Kind of get the bottom a little bit. And then also, when it's done, 24 hours or so, what you can do is uh, take an X-Acto knife and heat it up. And then you can uh, scrape the bubbles off the end because of the X-Acto knife, the way it works. And of course, I got a fly in the house that keeps getting over here. So I'm hoping that uh, he doesn't land in my paint because I don't need a a resin art fly in the middle of my painting. <laughs> okay, let's see. This looks like it's going to level out nicely. It feels good with your fingers on this. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine without your gloves how sticky that would be? But it's so fun. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you guys what I do, because I have to hold the camera with this too. So I'm going to take my glove off and take this camera down. So actually, I'm going to turn the camera off and do something different. And I'm going to show you guys where I store it. Okay, so I brought the piece over to the table area where I have this plastic bin. And I put the resin art inside there. You can see how nice and glossy it is. And sometimes it'll take two coats because I did spread it evenly with my fingers, but I might go over that really quick. It'll turn out better once it's dry because it is self-leveling. And we'll just see what it looks like. We might need a second coat. It might not. And then what I do, and you have to wait 24 hours before you put the second coat on. But what I do now is put a plastic lid on it and leave it because you don't want any dust or anything to get to that because it just will, that resin will just soak up any tiny little piece of dust and it will be very, very visible. So you don't want that. All right, you guys, I'll check in with you when it's dry. Here's a resin piece that's finished. Really durable, nice high gloss, and has like another dimension to it. It's really cool, you guys. <laughs> 